Hi, I am KM, an associate professor in the School of Life Sciences, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. This video presentation covers the following sections of 1. Synthetic life and DNA synthesis, 2. Gene design, and 3. Cynthia and genetically engineered machines, and 4. Synthetic biology and our society. Final parts include references and assignment for your synthetic biology idea development. Let's start to explore this topic of synthetic life. What is synthetic life? This is not about artificial life, artificial intelligence, or robots. It is about synthetic biology or making new life forms by changing DNA, redesigning DNA, or simple DNA synthesis. Half a century ago, this cartoon wondered if we could stop. And now, we can do more with synthetic biology. The word synthetic refers to creating something with practical use to humans, such as designing genes for our own use. In other words, you may consider this as advanced genetic engineering. Synthetic biology combines the knowledge of and practices of DNA engineering, bioinformatics, electrical and mechanical engineering, and systems biology. Synthetic biology is the biology of synthesizing biological parts or biological components. In traditional genetic engineering, we make use of genetic materials to produce useful biological molecules such as insulin and growth hormone. That is about making artificial cell factory for biomolecule production or drug production with engineered enzymes. In advanced genetic engineering or genetic engineering 2.0, we make genetically modified organisms for food productions. Here, in Genetic Engineering 3.0, synthetic biology, we can even redesign biochemical pathways to produce antibiotics or biological molecules for biofuels or biomolecules and novel chemicals unknown in the past. The central dogma of life is DNA makes RNA makes protein to carry out different biological functions. So, synthesizing DNA you design could theoretically and eventually produce the anticipated biological effects. However, the processing of these biomolecules requires complicated enzymatic steps with DNA polymerases to duplicate DNA, RNA polymerase to do transcription to make the RNAs for translations with ribosomes, and these processes could be manipulated or re-engineered. RNA processing is rather complicated, so there are many different means of controlling gene expression before transcription starts with CRISPR at the gene level, microRNA levels of RNA processing, and processing at the protein level. Before we move on, let's consider how we make new DNA in DNA synthesis. Basically, there are two methods, a chemical method and an enzymatic method. For enzymatic methods, 
in vivo using E. coli or yeast, and in vitro using the polymerase chain reaction, PCR. Because all nucleotides are just chemicals, we can make them chemically, base by base, joining the phosphodiester bonds with different chemical methods, which I can't go into the details here. We can now make DNA molecules up to 1,000 bases long. Alternatively, we can design primers and use PCR to amplify the desired segment of DNA, but for this, a template must be obtained. PCR can synthesize a huge amount of DNA with polymerase. All primers are made by using chemical synthesis. In section 2, we shall discuss how we can redesign gene constructs and put them into a chassis. Section 3 will cover the creation of an organism called Cynthia, which is a bacterium with a chemically synthesized genome, and look at genetically engineered machine. Section 4 will deal with synthetic biology and our society. The concept of genetically engineered machines, how they can contribute to solving problems on this planet, and the public's concerns 